So as most of you know, I was trained as a physician, a family physician, and early on, I had to pick where to work and what sort of setting to work in. And one of the early decisions that I faced was to work in a hospital-based setting, which has a lot of prestige even to this day, or to work in an outpatient setting. I chose to work in an outpatient setting against a lot of other advice and suggestions and all kinds of funny things I could tell you off, offline because I wanted to work upstream. I wanted to work on prevention. I wanted to work on things before they became catastrophic. I wanted to work on things before people are dying of an end stage disease, right? And that's what we do at Marin Community Clinics. We're here to serve. We believe everyone should have a right to high quality health care every day in Marin, Community, in, in Marin County. And your support is what makes it happen. Everyone here in this space helps make it happen in some way, some fashion, whether it's your heart, your partnership, your employment, your volunteerism, your giving, all of it helps make it happen. It takes a village to make a place better. And that's what we're doing at Marin Community Clinics. Tonight we're recognizing Luis Maldonado, Dr. Iman Elmi, and Dr. Linda Tavasi for a Lifetime Achievement Award. Three shining examples of people who've made a huge impact on the well-being of our community. I was raised with principles of respecting one another, helping those people in need, and give, uh, give like the extra mile, even if we're not ask, asked to. I have so many people in my life, especially my mother, who's always oriented me to doing stuff I've never done, especially this. Um, when I was a kid, I was like, why would I want to volunteer if I don't get anything from it? And my mom is always like, well, it's not from what you're going to receive. It's like yourself, how you feel inside. And so I've always had that in my mind. Everywhere I go, I try to orient other people, like try to be the best for yourself. I was also a leader at the, my high school for uh, the incoming freshmen. And there was this one saying that said, don't be the best of the world, be the best for the world. Because it's only one of you in this whole populated earth. So that's why I'm asking you, who are you guys? What makes you you? And how has that contributed to the person you are today and who you will be tomorrow? If there was an impact scale for the type of pathology I see and the number of patients I see in the county, uh, there is no greater impact than what happens on Thursday afternoons from 1.30 to 5.30 <laughs> for me in my clinic because I feel like the people I'm seeing often have nowhere to go in terms of the, the needs for the healthcare that they need and there isn't a day that I leave thinking that I actually didn't make an impact on not only their lives, but their families' lives, you know. And um, it's been truly gratifying. I think I, I'm the one who's really benefiting from the reward of this more than the patients because it feels good. It feels very good. Uh, I feel blessed and uh, I'm very humbled by this award. Linda has, has, a, has changed the, the landscape of healthcare in, in the Bay Area and Linda believes that the world can be a better place and that her, it's her responsibility to make it a better place. That's not optional and she helps us all see what our responsibility is and how we can do that. And I think that's where the love and the making the world a better place all come together. She makes the impossible possible. No doesn't exist once she's on mission. And the, the beauty of it is, is that her style is that it becomes everyone on the team's mission. It's so positive, it's so energizing, it's so uniting that then the possible becomes possible. So Linda, I, uh, it's really delightful to be here with you this evening uh, to, to give you this Lifetime Achievement Award as, as a, a, a small token of being such a spectacular dynamic person. Very 
thank you so much. I know that my husband and son were just bathing in your words because what you said is what they say every day. My, <laughs> my uh, leading men are my dear husband, Frank, of 50 years, and my dear son, Jim, who... <laughs> Trust me when I tell you they put up with a lot. They really have. So this is a Lifetime Achievement Award. I'd like to spend a few minutes telling you what I think about our movie called Lifetime Achievement. So we'll start with the producers. The producers have to be all of our parents and families who made the people that are sitting in this space tonight who you are always giving, always caring, always helping, always bringing on new items, new things, new care at the clinic, and new care for everything and everybody that you perceive needs that care. They don't have to be underserved. They don't have to be in, spe in special need. They're just all of us. I mean, best as I can tell, unless I'm doing something wrong. We all have needs. We're not, none of us are free and clear of being in need of each other and what we have to offer. So after producers, when you're running a movie, you have directors. So special thanks to everyone in this audience who has been a director, be it a, an elected director, an appointed director, director of a department, director of a clinic, director of a hospital, and directors. So we then get to the stars in our movie of Lifetime Achievement. The stars in our movie are, in many cases, each other. They're the doctors, the nurses, the caretakers, the therapists, the agency heads, the people who work in front of the scenes and behind the scenes, the medical assistants who care for the patients, and in my particular case, there's a whole long list we could go through, but in my particular case, I want to thank publicly the three people that have taken care of me for 30 years. And they are Laura Carlos, Isabella Mihai, Isabella, and Alice Rashke. So I am so eternally grateful for everything I've had and enjoyed and been and done, I want you to know that each and every one of you in different ways has contributed to my life. And each and every one of you in different ways has earned this lifetime achievement with me. It is my honor to receive this award on your behalf to recognize every single thing that you've done for this community in healthcare, in every other way that is touched here tonight. And so I thank each and every one of you. This is your, your Lifetime Achievement Award because we all did it together. Thank you all very much. Everybody for being so generous for the children for the Mobile Dental Dance Thank you so much. You guys were amazing.